Facebook is turning Silicon Valley on its head and changing the way that we look at investing forever. In today's video, we're going to talk about that and three stocks that stand to benefit in this extreme shift in the way that we all work coming up. What's going on, everybody? So Facebook is potentially up and moving out of Silicon Valley for good, which is a big deal. And we're going to explain some reasons as to why they're doing this and how this is going to impact other stocks moving forward in just a second. But first, I want to welcome you to my channel. Hi, my name is Brad, and this is Own the Chaos. The stock market is crazy and chaotic and confusing, and so I've made it my mission to help you own it and make a little bit of money while we're at it. So if you want to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing. And if you get value out of today's video, I certainly would appreciate a thumbs up as well. CEO of Facebook, Mark Zuckerberg, announced in an internal town hall meeting that some employees may not have to come back to work at all, even after the Rona is done and over with. And he's actually predicting that 50% of his workforce may actually be working remotely five to 10 years from now. He was quoted as saying, I think we're going to be the most forward leaning company on remote work at our scale for sure, but we're going to do this in a way that is measured and thoughtful and responsible in phases over time. He goes on to further say the point of the new approach is for employees to be able to do their work better, not simply because this is a thing employees have asked for. Now, this is a huge deal because it also comes after Twitter announced uh, last month that employees don't have to come back to work either and are free to work from home if they so choose to do so. So what's going on here? Well, I've been talking about on this channel for a while now, probably for about the last four to six weeks as everybody has been working for home right now that you know, what will demand look like as far as oil is concerned as far as air travel is concerned because there's a lot of businesses that require employees to travel right even when it comes down to just simply commuting from your home to your place of work but now we've seen a little bit of a shift companies are now figuring out that they can manage their employees just as easily and just as effectively remotely as if they were actually in the workplace and from Facebook's side, this makes a ton of sense as well. And I would, if you're not invested in Facebook, I mean, I'm telling you, Facebook will probably be $300 a share uh, by early 2021, maybe even before then. But this type of move saves Facebook so much money and then it also allows them to find endless amounts of talent and not just the talent that's surrounded around their locations. Not only that, but also from the expense side of things, Silicon Valley, California taxes are insane. They're ridiculous. And we've seen complaints from a lot of these tech companies and most notably Elon Musk lately has been talking about, you know, just how much it costs to operate in California. And so it's starting to not make so much sense. California is pricing these companies out and they're being forced to move elsewhere. And now a lot of these companies are realizing just how easy it is to have employees work remotely and the opportunities it presents. And I think it's just going to continue to be a giant shift in the way that we work and thus also in the way that we invest, what companies we see value in. And I have three stocks that you may want to consider taking a look at because these are going to become extremely valuable moving forward, especially if more companies fall in line with Facebook and they will about the ease of remote work and and everything else and sure there's going to be this argument that people have where you know i like to go to work i let it, like to interact with people you know on, on a personal basis and i don't think it goes away completely but i do think there's something to be said where there's going to be a lot more people working from home and loving it and so the first stock that i really still love and i've been talking about on this channel previously is zoom i've been talking about zoom since late march and it's gone up 70 percent since then currently as of this recording it's trading at 172 dollars a share and now you might be scratching your head a little bit and ask me, why would I buy something that's gone up 70% in the last six weeks? Well, I think that, you know, buying it all the way up here at the top probably isn't the best idea. And I would wait for some sort of pullback. But that's the beauty of Zoom recently is that it's become extremely predictable up to this point. Anytime there's positive news on the Rona that comes out and that people might potentially be going back to work, the value of Zoom perceptively comes down, which then lends us opportunities to add on a lot of these dips. Because again, I think because because of what's going on here and the shift that we're seeing from people that are going to be working remotely even more, Zoom is going to become even more important. Now, I actually think that Zoom even surpasses $200 per share before 2020 at this point and at this rate that it's going. And there's a lot of arguments out there for Zoom, right? Because competition is starting to move in. We've seen companies like Microsoft and even Facebook come out with their own video conferencing apps to try to compete with Zoom 
in this space. But the fact of the matter is, is that they don't even come close as far as the quality and the ease of use that Zoom actually has. And I love to use this comparison to Netflix. Everybody thought that Netflix was going to go by the wayside once the competition started to, to roll in with Disney Plus and Apple TV and Amazon Prime, Roku, all those other streaming services. And where is Netflix right now? They are still king. The competitive advantage that Zoom has had is that they've been able to really break into this market and, and go so far above all the other competition. And this is all they do. You have Microsoft that has their hands in everything, Facebook too, but this is just the one company that this is all they do and they are extremely good at doing it. Now that's not to say that Zoom hasn't had its hiccups along the way. The company has had some issues with security, but have seemed to recover from them just fine and solve those problems in a very quick manner. Not only that, but Zoom has been crushing earnings ever since it IPO'd last year. And I don't see this slowing down anytime soon. The demand for this company is extraordinary. And I think this continues to go up. Currently on the chart, $165 per share seems to be a very solid support for this. And as long as this can hold this, or if this pulls back and bounces from those levels, I think that would be a great time to consider maybe entering into Zoom for a longer term play. Okay, so the next one I'm gonna be talking about is CrowdStrike, ticker symbol CRWD. As of this recording, it's priced at $81 a share. For those of you who may not know what CrowdStrike is, they are a well-known cybersecurity company. And in this situation where people are working more remotely now, the demand for cybersecurity precautions are even more prevalent now than they ever were before and will continue to be. The company has been involved in investigations of several high profile cyber attacks, including the Sony Pictures hack, the 2016 National Committee email leak, as well as other DNC cyber attacks. And even before working from home became more of a thing, CrowdStrike's demand was going up significantly before the crash. According to their last fiscal year reports on CrowdStrike, their revenues went up 93% over $480 million. This year, CrowdStrike expects it to go up another 51% totaling over $750 million in revenue this year. CrowdStrike's earnings come up on June 2nd, and given how all these other cloud computing companies as well as cybersecurity companies have been doing such as Cisco and Fastly, I would expect CrowdStrike to crush their earnings as well. Leading up to this earnings date though, if you can see a pullback down to a $75 support, which is where I'm seeing it at, I think that would be a reasonable entry if we can see a bounce from there. And before we get to today's last stock, I want to invite you over to the Chaos Crew. If you click join next to the the subscribe button on this channel. What you will get as part of the Chaos Crew is a watch list for me every single day before the market opens. If you want a good snapshot of what's moving and what's worth taking a look at, then I would encourage you to go check out the Chaos Crew. It's only $4.99 a month. I think it's incredible value. So if you're interested in that, would love to see you there. Okay, so the last company that I'm going to be talking about is going to be Slack or the ticker symbol W-O-R-K. What Slack is, is essentially a chat room for your business. It's designed to take away the need for emails and then becomes the primary way that people communicate within your business. Its workspaces allow you to organize communications by channels for group discussions, it allows you for private messages to share information, files, and more all in one place. The current price of Slack right now is $32 per share. The company reported back in March that they had 110,000 paid customers and that 893 of them spent more than $100,000 annually. Total revenue was up $630 million, which is 57% compared to last year. And upcoming earnings for this occur on June 4th. So this is definitely something that I would look to get into a little bit earlier because I think they crush earnings here as well. The demand for something like Slack is huge when working remotely. This makes a ton of sense as to why this would be increasing in demand. And even as the US opens back up for business, I think that this would be a crucial tool for those who want to continue to work remotely from home. Looking at the chart, it looks like it has a relatively decent support at $30 per share. So if it remains above that, I would still consider this very much a buy. And in in the future, I could see this stock doubling within the next year or so. So what are your thoughts on this? Are we headed for a new era in the way that we work and the way that we see value in companies? I want to know your thoughts. Leave me some comments down below. And I just want to clarify, I know that there's going to be a huge need for people to actually go back to physical places of work. I'm not saying that this goes away completely. All I'm saying is that the demand for remote work is going to increase. And I think that these companies are going to become more and more valuable as this trend continues. Let me know about the three stocks that I have picked out for you as well. Do you agree with them? Do you see value in them? Please leave them in the comments. And as always, folks, I will see you all before the bell. And B. Smith is out. By the way, if you wanted to know what the top 10 stocks millennials are buying right now, click this video up here. If you wanted to know the state of the airlines and whether or not you should be buying them or which ones to buy, click this one.